This week on The Wire, house and land package sales rise, sellers act to beat APRA changes, and prices tip to peak late in 2022. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, house and land package sales rise. So Australians are snapping up house and land packages with new figures revealing building approvals increased 3.5% in August. Now the latest ABS figures show the number of buildings approved during August hit just over 12,000, which was well above the 8,500 recorded at the same time in 2019. Now Oliver Hume data reveals in September there was a 30% increase in Melbourne of people paying a reservation fee to secure a block of land. And the increase in demand for house and land packages comes as the cost of construction increased since February by 10% for a single level home and 5% for a double storey home. Now, while timber shortage has also started to ease, glass is in short supply and many buyers are still waiting for tradesmen to be available. Now, Oliver Hume National Head of Research, George Bugia, says the challenges have not put off buyers of house and land packages. He says some buyers are rushing to get loans to build ahead of the APRA move to tighten the lending criteria. And now, guys, moving on to our next story, Sellers Act to Beat APRA Changes. So the proposed tightening of lending criteria has also driven some vendors to bring forward their plan to list their properties. Now, some analysts predict there will be a reduction in buyers once the new rules take effect. At the same time, buyers who want to borrow the maximum amount are rushing to gain pre-approvals before the new regulations kick in, which is from the 1st of November. Now, under the new rules, borrowers will be assessed to ensure they can service a loan with interest rates 3% higher when the buffer was previously 2.5%. Now, the CVA says the changes will affect only a small number of borrowers as only 8% of the applicants are seeking to borrow the maximum amount. Now, those who obtain pre-approval under the old criteria before November 1st will have 90 days to use that for pre-approval before it expires. Now, Shaw Financial Chief Executive Theo Chambers says those who have procrastinated about buying are now feeling a sense of urgency. And now for our final story of the week, prices tip to peak late in 2022. So Australian property prices are tipped peak by late next year, according to a new Goldman Sachs analysis. Now, it predicts prices will increase by 22% this year and continue rising, though at a lower rate, in 2022 before plateauing in 2023. Now, it expects that APRA will introduce further lending restrictions next year based on loan evaluation ratios and debt to income, as the Reserve Bank does not intend to move on interest rates until 2024. Now, it has held its key interest rate at a record low of 0.1% since November 2020. And RBA Governor Philip Lowe has said they will not raise rates to curb mortgage lending, but may introduce portfolio restrictions on individuals lenders shares of lending at high debt to income ratios or limit lending at high loan to valuation ratios. Now Andrew Boak of Goldman Sachs says from a policy perspective we think the softening in price growth over the next few years supports our relatively uh, dovish RBA rates but the cycle would weigh on prices and house related GDP growth. Well guys they are the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like comment and share this video and follow us, subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great weekend. And remember guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.